No matter where you live in the country, one thing is for sure. Weather forecasts can change quickly. It's why the Better Business Bureau is sending out an alert to consumers to be mindful of scammers looking to cash in on natural disasters. A lot of times we'll hear about what's called storm chasers, and that's shady type construction companies that will show up to an area and ask you to repair your home. You might be distressed in an emergency situation. You might need that repair right away. Melanie McGovern with the BBB says if they do knock on your door, don't feel pressure to give them anything in that moment. The best thing you can do is to pause, take their business card, tell them you want to check them out with the BBB, do a little more research, Reputable construction companies and contractors will give you the time to do that. McGovern says oftentimes tragedy brings out the best in people. Strangers will want to help people in need. But McGovern also says before you donate any money, do your homework on different charities and organizations. When it comes to wanting to give to help out people who have been impacted by storms, what should people know? Always work with a charity that has the ability to get to the affected area. If it's something that's local and it's a local charity that you know that has been established, that has been around for a while, any kind of crowdfunding you need to look into to make sure that it is on the up and up. Uh, donate only to people that you know. Um, a lot of people will mimic being either a victim or knowing a victim. So you want to make sure that you understand who it's going to, where it's going, and how much of that dollar is it's actually going toward the cause. The FTC says be skeptical of anyone promising immediate cleanup or repairs. Also, know that FEMA doesn't charge application fees. If someone wants money to help you qualify for FEMA funds, it's a scam. And if you have any questions about who to contact after a storm, call your homeowner's insurance ahead of time. Ask them what their procedure is if something should happen to your property. Natural disasters do happen unexpectedly, but preparing yourself ahead of time is the best thing you can do to protect your family and your money. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Carice Jackman.